Ok. Bienvenidos a todos a la hora en español <laughs> de aquí, de la fiesta del barrio. Welcome to Spanish Language Hour at the Block Party. We're going to do a mix of Spanish and English. And Alfredo, if you would like to, uh, would you like to lead, Alfredo? Sure. Thank you for everyone. It's so nice to meet with you all. And I appreciate for this opportunity to uh, give you my personal opinion <clears throat> in terms of the, the new phenomena uh, about the sun. You know, as, as you know, uh, the humanity is going through a process of um, evolution in all levels. Uh, this humanity is in a uh, transition of um, changing to a new dimension, which means a new consciousness. And it, it's all about energy. Okay. And um, the energy coming through the sun uh, is coming in order to help all the kingdoms in this planet, including the planet itself. Uh, to evolve and make the new step into evolution. The sun, the current sun, uh, is a um, interdimensional portal. So we are getting the access of many, uh, uh, let's say, um, brothers and sisters who come from other dimensions and also is uh, projecting the energy coming from the central sun, uh, which is also projecting the energy coming from the central of the universe. Um, so the, my personal opinion in terms of the energy coming through the sun is that is producing an expansion of the consciousness, is, an ex is producing an expansion of the energy that we have internally in our, ourselves, which is the DNA, is the opening of the 10, uh, uh, the 10 um, DNA, um, how you call it in English, the um, uh, los diez hilos del ADN, how do you call it? The, the threads, the threads of DNA. Uh -huh. So according to the scientists, uh, we have 10, 10 um, uh, uh, lines of the, uh -huh, the, of the DNA that, that are dead or they don't work, but those 10 lines are um, uh, waking up right now. So we will have 12 strings working in our DNA, and those will be helping to produce a new uh, <clears throat> consciousness, a new uh, understanding of our lives, and um, a new energy which will help to expect all this high level of energy from the sun. Um, the, uh, the vibration that we are acquiring right now from the central sun is very high. Uh, we started at 7.8 hertz in, J in 2012, and now we are up to 150 hertz uh, of uh, energy. So it's, it's a huge vibration that we are acquiring right now, and it's affecting directly all kingdoms in the, in the planet. Uh, so. I repeat again, uh, the process of what we are right now is in order to expand our consciousness, is to produce a new way of uh, living in this planet and a new way to uh, share with our brothers and sisters, humans, uh, this new consciousness. That's basically my point of view. We are awakening to a new way of life. And I, uh, I'm also expecting, as part of the evolution, uh, all the change in the systems that we are um, living with in the day by day. 
which is the political system, the financial system, the religious system, the spiritual system, all the systems we are involved in order to continue this process of evolution. So my uh, personal opinion is that, and um, obviously the scientists can say totally different ideas, which I respect, but this is my personal point of view, uh, looking it through the cosmic, uh, spiritual uh, point of view. Muchas gracias, Sablon. Thank you so much for bringing this conversation into the spiritual realm. Thank you. Thank you to you. Not forget. Um, I had an amazing experience um, last year when I was in Mexico. I got to visit the pyramid of Teotihuacan and my right leg, my knee was, I thought it was broken and I had a hard time walking. And I dragged myself to the top of that pyramid, which if you've been there, it's like, it's vertical. Like it's not like this sort of staircase, it's vertical. So I had to will myself to the top and it's the sun pyramid. And I just sat there and meditated and then at the end of my meditation, I could walk back down the pyramid. And the next day, my leg was completely healed. And anytime I feel something like going on with my knee or anything, I pull in that energy from the sun pyramid and immediately it re equilibrates me, re centers me, and heals, helps me heal. Um, Wonderful. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the sun pyramid is uh, related to the pyramids in Egypt and other pyramids in China, which are in the same kind of uh, latitude. And, you know, uh, energetically, uh, Teotihuacan is, is the central uh, energy for... Uh, uh, for Mexico, there is the transmission of the energy to all over Mexico and actually Central South America and North America. So the distribution of this energy is is uh, increasing at this moment, thanks to the sun uh, or the energy that we are acquiring right now from the sun. Uh, so the vibrations are uh, going up, and that's creating a new way of consciousness for for all the humanity. Beautiful, and thank you for reminding us about this. And you're very welcome. To those who don't know already. If I may, um, you touched or you, I might say you pulled on a few threads and I'm sorry, I don't think I could attempt to go where I'm going in any other language than English. Um, I'm here from a story that was gifted to me 40 years ago. And it sounded so familiar to what you just shared in the sense that because of the work that I was doing and the glimpse that I had on these technologies that would now enable us to do this. Um, and wandering the halls of the library before the internet and pulling ideas that didn't seem related and working on a project from Buckminster Fuller of how to express that we're only tuning into a very small bit of what's going on around us. And yet we're extending our senses to be able to tune in so that we can understand how we can be well in this world. And um, that led me to the electromagnetic spectrum. So when you talk about the sun and all of that, and that energy and the spectrum, Bucky said, was such a great way for us to communicate all that is, because it is all waves and frequency. 
And in that exploration, I was gifted this story about the leprechauns. A leprechaun, let me tell you about this. Electrons, protons, and consciousness. The idea that we live in this vibration between these poles, and then we saw the world around us with our simple senses, and we tuned in this way, night and day, man and woman, left and right, and we zeroed in on this duality, and somewhere along the line, consciousness snuck in. And what you might remember from the last fairy tale of the leprechauns, that Irish lore of a little creature that if you could catch it at the end of the rainbow, you'd find your pot of gold, the value in that secret that he would gift to you. E leprechaun, e leprechaun, tell, tell me an age old secret. A leprechaun, e leprechaun, where do you hide and keep it? You started with a word, this I have heard, and now I intend to secret. Seek it, e leprechaun. Electrons, protons, and consciousness, electing between the pro and the con. And this all curiosity of mine as a kid at 20 years old, 40 years ago, led me to this equation of if we're evolving, what's next for us as humanity? And if I had this peek into the future that said, ah, the leprechauns are coming, the leprechauns are coming, they're going to be able to communicate and share their ideas in ways that you could have never imagined 40 years ago and here we are now doing just that and our level of consciousness has connected us in ways that we could have never imagined to tune into these vibrations of each other and the energy that we're absorbing from the sun because we're alive on this planet that needs that sun and utilizes it for all that is here and this equation that was presented was in this notion of evolution. Einstein had the physical equation of E equals MC squared. Ah, but the leprechauns, what did they tune into? Well, after two, after two comes three, but when you get to three, it's exponential. It becomes infinite. So let's land on E, evolution, e equals M for mind, times omnidirectional communication. The idea that we can communicate here now, presently, yet across this expanse around the world in this very moment together and share. Somebody is going to be watching this recording and we're communicating in the future with them. They're now communicating in the past with us. We're communicating with the planet. We're learning and tuning in and our senses are becoming amazingly attuned to each other now and the planet. That's the story It was gifted to me 40 years ago, and I've been waiting for you all to show up for this very series to come along and for Brett to tap me on the shoulder and say, Mark, got to show up. It's time. So hi, everybody. I just want to share. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so exciting to hear. Good for turning up, too, Mark. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you, Mark. Mark. Welcome. <clears throat> So Zabion, a lot that you said resonated deeply. These are all old stories. You spoke of threads. We are all connected in these threads. We call it the World Wide Web. We're so entangled and so entwined. And I think that's, that's what we're trying to get back to, isn't it? Yet we're moving forward. There is no going back. It's a perpetual motion that we're in. And how entwined are we now? I hear so many of these stories coming out from so many different places as I've stepped out and trying to understand what is this amazing story, the greatest story on earth being told right now through all these threads, through all of your generous existence. And I thank you all deeply. Beautiful, Mark. Beautiful. Thank you, Mark. Um, Alfredo, if you would prefer to speak in Spanish, please go ahead and do that. And then, you know, we can also recap a little in English as you're most comfortable, Alfredo. 
Yeah, I, I can do both. It's okay to me. Uh, actually, if I, um, I'm basically with more uh, speak, um, English speaking people, I'd rather do it in English. So we don't have to translate. Um, the idea here is to, um, in my personal opinion, give you an update about the latest uh, energy coming directly from the, the, from the source um, and coming through the central sun and, uh, and directly direct, uh, to the sun over here. The, the name of the system is Tylo, T-Y-L-O. This is our solar system, is, that's the name. And all this energy, which we measure with the Schumann uh, resonance, uh, you can easily find the information on the internet about the increasing of this vibration uh, not only for the solar system, it's, uh, this energy is coming direct, directly to the humanity in order to increase the vibration in the atomic level or, or subatomic or deeper and um, create a higher vibration of the human um, bodies and jump to a different um, perception of this new reality that is coming. We call it the fifth dimension. Uh, as you understand, we are uh, sharing or living at the same time in the third dimension and the fourth dimension. The, the third dimension is the animal uh, kingdom. And the fourth dimension is the, the spiritual. You know, we call it the astral uh, dimension. The, the animal, the first dimension is the, is the uh, mineral, mineral kingdom. The second dimension is the vegetable uh, kingdom. The third dimension is the animal. So we are part of the animal kingdom, uh, but we are changing the, the consciousness to a higher level um, together with our spirit and the soul, which are vibrating in the fourth dimension, which is the astral or spiritual. And we are jumping to the fifth dimension of consciousness and that's exactly the goal that this humanity is trying to approach. Um, how are we going to do it? How are we going to jump to a higher uh, level of consciousness? Um, through the senses. Through the senses, as you mentioned, Mark. Uh, our senses are, are also changing at this moment, thanks to the new vibration. Uh, you can imagine, I mean, it, we used to be in 2012 at 7.8 hertz or cycles per second. And right now we, we are touching 150 hertz. Our atoms are, you know, in a high, high, real high speed. And that's creating also a change of our physical bodies, um, mental bodies, emotional bodies, psychology bodies. We are also adjusting all levels of our, ourselves to a new way of um, uh, perception through our senses. Uh, this is part of the evolution of humanity. I believe um, most of the people at this moment are awakening or are waking up to a new way of living or understanding or feeling these new vibrations. And this is all through the sun. All these energies come through the sun. That's the portal or the amplificator of these energies. Um, when, when I'm talking about the portal, is interdimensional portal also. It's not only three dimension or, or any of the lower dimensions. Uh, the, the sun is also the interdimensional portal that is helping all um, uh, these uh, souls or, or, or humans or ETs or whatever you call it, calling um, in order to come to this dimension to help the transition of this humanity. Okay? We are not alone. We have a lot of help coming from other parts of the galaxy or 
any parts of the universe in order to help to help us to make this transition very soft and and this is a personal point of view as i mentioned because i my personal point of view is from the cosmic uh, universal galactic uh, planetary point of point of view it's not scientific uh, 100% it's also a combination between scientific and spiritual and i believe in the future coming the uh, scientist uh, vision and the spiritual vision will join together and will uh, will merge a new vision to the humanity so we understand how everything is created and we will create also a new vision um, uh, amplified uh, thanks to the new vibrations so these uh, five senses that we are practicing right now will become together to a new uh, sense uh, of perception uh, which will be more uh, balanced for the humanity so that will be become to a new system to the humanity maybe all these religions that we are sharing you know will become one only i don't know in a spiritual way these politics will become a different way of doing politics the financial systems will become totally a different system in order to help all the humanity and let us grow all together that's my personal point of view so i appreciate uh, uh, that you're listening to my my uh, way of thinking beautiful thank you so much for sharing i i love what you said about um science and spirituality merging And Alfredo, I have a question. Um, sure. Is the fact that the sun is now increasing its frequency, et cetera, enabling us to make this jump, is that a coincidence that it's happening at this time of planetary crisis? Or is the sun like, oh, you know, Mother Earth needs our help right now. Boom, let's bump it up. Is it in reaction to the crisis? Or is it a coincidence? <laughs> Or was all of this planned? Yeah, no, no, no. There is no coincidence. Uh, everything is under a plan. The cosmic consciousness, whatever you call it, God or, or uh, whatever, which, which is a cosmic consciousness. Um, for those who don't understand the cosmic consciousness, because the mental uh, way of understanding is so difficult, uh, for a regular human but let me explain to you quickly the my personal consciousness is a reflection of the cosmic consciousness is what we call it I am the micro or micro um, uh, consciousness and the macro consciousness is the cosmic consciousness okay now my my personal mind is connected to the 7500 million minds which we call we call it the collective consciousness of the human uh, we, if we combine all the kingdoms in the planet including the human is the planetary consciousness all the planets in the galaxy create the galactic consciousness all the galaxies in the universe create the the universal consciousness all the universes in the whole uh, uh, creation make or, or um, produce the co um, cosmic consciousness there are 700,000 universes in the whole creation right now and so that's the co uh, cosmic consciousness and there is a plan for the uh, for the earth um, which was well in this case was planned in order to let this humanity make um, a jump to a higher consciousness after we close the the, the uh, cosmic cycle which ended in december 21st 2012 that's the end of the cycle 
and started a new one. But we've been through a transition from that time uh, for seven years, which started December 21st, 2012 through uh, December 21st, 2019. These seven years of transitions of transition made this uh, preparation uh, of the humanity to receive this new energy coming through the sun. And this new energy is producing this higher vibration in the DNA, this uh, activation of many codes that we have through the DNA that they were un um, in unactivated. Now they are activating all these new codes. So we become a um, humanity with a higher uh, consciousness. We become united. Okay, united means all the humanity with all the kingdoms, including the planet itself. Uh, we call it Gaia. Uh, so there is no coincidence at all. It's a plan. It's a cyclic uh, process that we we have uh, every twelve thousand uh, five hundred uh, or six hundred uh, years. We close one cycle and we start another one. We just close the male male uh, um, cycle and we started the female um, cycle in uh, 2012 uh, which means we ended the fear uh, male side of the evolution and we started the female based on love of the evolution of humanity and all the kingdoms Hello. So, so considering oh. that, um, could you extrapolate and kind of um, uh, maybe help explain to us what what you would expect going forward? Considering that shift from the masculine to the feminine, what what does that mean for um? the future of our own lifetimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, there is a, uh, an extreme of this change, but it will not be automatic, honestly, because we have freedom, we have free will, you know, individually and collectively. We decide if we, if we want to really um, evolve to the new, uh, way of living, which is based on unconditional love, uh, which is the feminine uh, side of the cosmic uh, consciousness. Uh, you must remember that we are in a um, um, consciousness which is balanced in positive, negative, male, female, black and white. There is always an equilibrium. It's balanced everywhere. Positive, negative, you know, protons, neutrons, electrons, you, you name it. It's all balanced, it's all based on equilibrium. Same thing in this uh, process of evolution. Um, but based on our free will, definitely every single person decides if they want to evolve or not. Now, for those who don't want to evolve, or let's say, be adjusted to the new energy coming through the sun, which is a high vibration um, energy based on unconditional love, which is the highest vibration of the cosmic um, energy. Uh, those who are not ready to jump to the new energies are resisting these new energies. This resistance is creating a blocking of our personal energy. In other words, uh, this person who is a killer, corrupted, a pedophilian person, all these negative adjectives, adjectives in, the, in, the, in the human uh, uh, life will be more negative from now on, which is uh, 
this energy is uh, empowering our personal vibration every day, every day, every day. So this resistance will create a damage in the physical body and will be turning into a sickness because you cannot resist this top level of energy uh, at all. Um, so it's free will, it's free will. Uh, what I can tell you at this very moment and based on information that I have, uh, no more than 30% of the humanity is awakening to this new consciousness. But 30% is good because in year 2012, by the time we closed the cycle, the, the male, male uh, cycle, we were in only 1.5%, no more than 2% of people awakening to this uh, new consciousness. So in, in, in uh, seven years, we jumped to 30% which is good. That's the, the, the critical mass that we needed, needed to jump automatically to more than 50, 60% of the uh, humanity to awake. So uh, I think we are doing good so far. We just need to help uh, more people to open their consciousness to use these new energies, to open their consciousness to these new uh, um, uh, part of the evolution of the humanity itself, open consciousness to this uh, expansion of the DNA that is happening right now. Obviously, the scientists will not tell you that because they don't agree uh, that something like that is happening, obviously. And if, even if they know, they will never tell you because they want to have the control of everything, you know? But this is what I can tell you that is happening for, for real, per, based on my personal uh, knowledge and based on the information I have from different sources. I hope I, uh, I answered your question. Beautiful. And Alfredo, so are we at 30% now or we are going to reach 30%? We're at 30 no, we are now at 30% right now. Okay, and growing. And growing, yeah. You have an estimate of what it will sort of reach? Will it reach sort of a new plateau, 50%, 70%, 90%? Uh, according to the, the source of um, uh, beings that were informing, um, they expected us to have 30%, which is the critical mass, I don't know how you call it in, in English, is, we call it massa critica. Critical mass. Massa critica. Critical mass. Okay, critical mass, I'm correct. Okay, the critical mass, which is 30%, will um, um, make this in, increase of the uh, more humans to awake automatically. You know what I mean? When, you, when we become 30% of the humanity awakening, the collective consciousness automatically will uh, go through this energy. So more and more and more and more every day. So we expect by the end of this year, no, not less than 35, 38, 40% hopefully. Wow. I, I am delighted that we're at 30% already because yeah. It, you know, it felt, and maybe this was my feeling, you know, of the last few years, it just felt like we were so few, so few, so few. So that 1%, you could really feel it. Yeah. We were just like such a tiny minority. But now all of a sudden, more and more people are joining. And yeah. so that's really good news. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And no, what happens is the, the media system, they will never tell you what's exactly happening. Obviously, I mean. They will never tell you, oh, yeah, we are awakening more and more and more every day. No, you never see that in the news. Uh, you must have a diff different kind of source in order to put you in the reality of what's happening in, in, the, in the planet. And, um, and that's important because the only way to survive through all this chaos that the planet itself is 
producing right now through the four elements, uh, the only way to understand that is that we need to go through the cows to jump to the new, uh, uh, new system, the fifth dimension of consciousness. You know what I mean? Uh, the planet itself is cleaning uh, her body using these four, four elements. Whatever the Earth needs to clean her energy, there is an element uh, playing over there. Fire, uh, wind, you know, uh, water, earth, earthquakes, you name it. So the, 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 um, the shift of the, the polar um, axis is also moving. Uh, the mag magnetic pole is, is moving right now too, thanks to the increasing of the sun uh, energy. And that's producing also the catastrophes and you know this chaos in the planet but it's all part of the process and that applies for each person also internally uh, these changes are applying exactly the same way as the planet i have a question how does a uh, solar um radiation mediation uh fit into this this cycle <clears throat> yeah the the solar flares that you can see in the news uh, in the scientific uh, news um, are explosions of energy you must remember that the sun is not uh, the way the scientists told us uh, like um, 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 a, uh, how you say in English, um, it's, it's not a hot, hot uh, surface. Um, you know, it, it seems that it's on fire all the time, really hot, but it's not hot, it's cold. It's, a, it's the opposite. The energy of the sun is cold. And these explosions are uh, projected to all the solar system but these explosions are not by the sun itself those energies come through the central sun you know what i mean the plates is uh, alcyon alcyon is the name of the central sun alcyon is receiving this energy energy from the central of the cosmic uh, source coming through alcyon the central sun in the galaxy through the central sun of here Mm -hmm. And that sun is projecting the energy to, to all the system and the sun is uh, totally inside of us, activating the DNA um, uh, codes that we have and that's producing this change of consciousness. I'm going to connect my cell phone to the electricity right now. Uh, I don't know if, you, if I uh, answered your question. I, I'm not sure you did either, but that's okay. It's not your fault. It's probably mine. No, I mean it's it's not as simple as uh, I would I wish it were. Para entender. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Okay. Um... Well, I cannot explain uh, this in the scientific way, obviously. I mean, I, I'm not a scientist. Uh, I'm just um, answering in the... In no, the... no problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. if, if I could ask, um, I'm so curious of, um, you're speaking of we, and you're speaking of a knowledge or a wisdom, and I'm wondering, is that something that you speak of a physical person that you are working with and have information from, or is there something coming through you when you speak? How, how is this information? Coming? Yeah, this information comes through my higher self that is connected to the source, and it's also yours, same source. And also is information that comes through the, what we call the uh, representation of this galaxy, the, the people who are, uh, working together in order to help the humanity. 
uh, through this process. We call it the Council of Twelve, or we can call it, there are several names. They, they call themselves the um, representation of the uh, worlds, worlds in evolution. Some people call it the Galactic Federation, some people call it the Confederation of Light, some people call it in different ways. They don't name themselves in any way because they're just as us. They're also in the same process of evolution, but they're also watching us in this process so they, they can find a way to help us. We have people in the inner side of the Earth. As a matter of fact, I was in, uh, in touch with one of them in, in astral, uh, under Shasta, uh, Mount Shasta, in year 2010, I was there, and uh, it's totally real. I mean, there is a, um, a network of cities uh, in the inner side of the Earth, which are vibrating not only in third dimension, but also in the uh, fifth dimension and higher. <laughs> they were just waiting for the Earth to start the vibration of the fifth dimension so they can come outside to the surface. Uh, so this is the inner uh, humanity, let's say, but there is also the extraterrestrial um, help that comes from the same galactic um, system, but also from other systems. You know, mm -hmm. you, you mentioned, uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. You, um, Alfredo, can you hear me okay? I don't, I, uh, right now, yeah. You no, know, you mentioned Mount, Mount Shasta. Um, one of our colleagues uh, who was on a few hours ago presenting about a new story for humanity, he, and we've worked together closely the last few years, he was on an airplane flying over Mount Shasta and he got like a transmission, boom. I mean, mm. right over the top of Mount Shasta and he knew he needed to move there. So he now lives there in Mount Shasta and he was working, yeah. you know, he's carrying on his work there. So I was just really excited to hear about Mount Shasta. Yeah, Mount Shasta is the first chakra of the Mother Earth uh, and uh, it's moving now, now that the polar, the magnet, magnetic polar is moving. But the Chasta area is um, after Lemuria was uh, floated, uh, the remnant of the humans from Lemuria were moving uh, underground of uh, Shasta. Uh, the name of this city is Telos or Tilos, T E L O S. Uh, this this uh, city is um, the most advanced uh, city in the inner earth. Uh, Agartha is the name of the network, and the capital of this network is Shambhala or Shambhala, whatever you call it. Uh, but that's in the inner uh, side. This network underground uh, are working together with the humanity in the surface for every, every time. I mean, they're the most interested uh, humanity uh, that we in the surface evolve to a new uh, vibration so they can come up and show up. So Shasta is very important. I go there every year in September. I make uh, seminars and you know workshops over there. So we are connected to these new energies. And um, it's beautiful over there too. Do you have any other questions? I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe I'm, I'm, I'm too deep in, in, in these explanations. Uh, maybe you don't understand me very well, but I'm free to answer anything I can. Uh, when you speak of inhabitants in the inner world, 
we're not speaking of physical inhabitants. We're different energy forms. Uh, there, are, there are different, um, starting in third dimension, which is physical as us. There are a uh, few hum humanities. Uh, but most of the more, the more advanced uh, humanities or humans, I'm sorry, uh, in the inner are vibrating in the fifth dimension, which is the next uh, step of evolution that we are uh, trying to approach as uh, humans in the surface. But most of them are vibrating in fifth dimension. All right, at Shasta. Shasta, they are in fifth dimension. Under so Shasta, which is, when do you do your um, your workshop or seminar at Shasta? You said uh, normally in September. in September. Okay, so I can find out about that through through this group. Uh, I normally I announce in my Facebook or send emails to the people who have been with me in the past. So okay. you're very welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, now, the, the, the um, humanity that is helping us in this process is not only one. There are many. We, our DNA is a combination of 25 um, code, uh, different kinds of DNA. As, um, we are the representation in reality, third dimension reality, we are the representation of more than 25 different humanities from the universe. This, this project of humans in, in the planet is the most important project in the, in the uh, universe at this very moment. So there are many eyes checking on our process every time. And the idea was to help this humanity to go through this process that we, that we are living right now, um, taking all the negative uh, uh, humans out of the game in all levels, politics, financial, religions. Okay. Hello? Me permite? Yeah. It's sí. very interesting, the new facts I'm learning, and I want to stay, but I, I had to go. I'm, I, we, are, we are driving from LA to Tijuana, Mexico. So we are here, and we need, we need to attend to something here on Tijuana. So I had to leave, and I come back as soon as, as possible to do it. Okay, thank you, and... I like what I hear. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank Bye. you. Have a nice trip. Thank you. I don't know if um, you have any other questions. I'm sorry, I'm taking too much to explain all this, but... Um... No, Alfredo, you are perfect. It is perfect because you're explaining it at a perfect pace for us. It's not too fast. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's just a lot of information to take in if you're uh, not uh, expecting uh, Maybe you want to turn off the microphone of this um, woman that is going I to it. Tijuana. I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, let me tell you, I've been doing this for many years. Uh, um, I want, I'm going to let you know about a personal experience that put me in this road, in this mission, since 2007. Uh, I, I was in my second separation of my ex-wife, and um, I was in a very depressive moment in my life. I used to be doing real estate in my area. That was my business. I had an office, 10 people selling for me, etc. A magazine, real estate magazine, you know, very successful guy in the planet. <laughs> uh, so I was in a very depressive uh, moment in my life. So I got into a, um, 
transcendental meditation uh, uh, technique. And for the first time in my life, uh, I, I had this experience in, in my parallel reality, which is four dimension, in, in the high level of four dimension, which is the astral high level. And I met one gentleman in that moment. I was really amazed and a little, a little bit scared because I, I never had this experience in the past. I met one gentleman who said to me, don't worry, uh, I'm here to talk to you about a um, spiritual mission that we have for you. This moment that you're living right now is, was planned, was planned to happen this moment. Uh, so he said, uh, you must start learning all the information about the cosmic uh, consciousness because uh, in order to make your mission, you must understand what's going on in the higher level. I said, well, okay, what can I do? He said, well, you must make a decision and leave everything you have, everything, including family, work, business, everything. I said, well, okay, should I answer right now or do I have some time to think about it? He said, yeah, you take the time you want. So after one month, when I was ready to answer, I went back to this gentleman in, in the same medita med uh, type of meditation. And I started flying, let's say, or uh, experiencing in astral level a um, uh, learning in a spaceship, um, which is uh, above China. Uh, the measure of the, this ship is 65 kilometers of length and 24, 25 of width. It's a, it's a mother uh, ship. And um, it's vibrating in uh, fourth and fifth dimension. So you cannot see it. And I spent all the year, 2007, in order to learn all this information that I'm giving to you. And I started in 2008, my my uh, human spiritual mission, let's say, doing all these workshops. Uh, as a matter of fact, I learned also a therapy in order to help humans to balance their lives uh, in, in equilibrium. Uh, so uh, the contact of these people, is, it's been since then. The gentleman I met that day is uh, what we call uh, Saint Germain, Adam Saint Germain. And, uh, and is is well known all over uh, the planet because he's the new avatar or the new guy who is representing the universe in this planet in the next uh, step, fifth dimension. Uh, it's nothing religious. It's nothing um, even scientific, 100%. It's a combination of both. So the evolution of the planet is coming together with the humanity and all the kingdoms around. We are in this process right now. And those who are rejecting these energies uh, will have to make a decision. If they want to continue in a third dimension planet, which are two planets ready, uh, Polaroid and Excelsior, those planets are ready in the third dimension around this solar system. So these people who are not interested in continuing with this evolution, they will move over there. Because this planet is changing to fifth dimension anyways. So this is basically what happened in the past, and that's why I'm here. And Alfredo, how will they move? Will they die and then rebirth over there, or, it, or they would just travel? Uh, during the process of cleaning of the planet itself, a lot of people will die, will leave the, their body because the, the uh, flooding, the, the, the earthquakes, earthquakes, fire, et cetera, fire. They, they will leave their bodies over there many of them, but for those who decided to continue uh, voluntarily in a, a third dimension planet, they will be moved physically with their own bodies over there, but they will not remember what happened in the past. Alfredo, can you hear me? Yeah, I do. I thought that voice sounded familiar. It's me, Jeff. <laughs> oh, hi, Jeff. How, how are you doing? Yes, yeah, oh, good to see you. Oh, my God. It's so much better now that I realize this is you. I saw Zablon. <laughs> I 
I kept hearing the voice. I'm like, God, that sounds like Alfredo. That sounds like my partner down. Said, oh my God, it's him. It is him. And then I heard Jam Jamin say, hey, Alfredo. I was like, it is him. Yeah, it's it. so good to hear from you, Jeff. I'm sorry oh, I didn't see you. You too, you too. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. So just hear everything we're doing. Plug in on Ring Central. Get caught up. It's happening, brother. Everything we want, everything we talked about, everything. It's amazing. Including here. Yeah. Hey, Dylan. You're breaking up a little. Yeah, we're all here. We're all here. It's amazing. Plug in. Yes, exactly. absolutely. I'm so glad you guys knew each other. I kept hearing his voice. I'm like, God, that sounds identical to Alfredo. And sure enough, I love it. I love it. Sorry about that. Sorry to interrupt. I just had to say hello, brother. I'm so happy you're here because I was going to call you next to tell you what's going on. And now you're plugged in. Yay. <laughs> Did you guys know wow. each other? Wow. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. How do you guys know each other? Uh, brought together by a mutual friend um, regarding uh, environmental thing we we're doing. We we're actually, we did several things. <laughs> and I told him when I heard him mention St. Germain again, I go, that's Alfredo. And when he mentioned St. Germain in our conversation after... signal. I don't know why. Uh, no, we, uh, you're we, losing we, my we, signal? Or you, your signal? You can hear me okay? Thumbs up? Yeah, we can, we can, Jeff, we can hear you fine. Alfredo, we can hear and see you just fine. Okay, great, good. Great. Okay, I got you back. Okay, I got you back. So anyways, a uh, mutual friend introduced us because he already had a business established in Mexico, which I was looking to get established and work with a Mexican partner, citizen down here. And she introduced me to Alfredo and it, the rest is history. I mean, I wish he would have told me about St. Germain in our conversation when we first met. It would have sped things up quite a bit that he actually worked with that technology, which I've also worked with similar technology with Calvin Young and the atomic, or not the atomic accelerator, but the, uh, um, what's called the Vocal 350 chair technology. Um, and this gentleman right here, Alfredo, actually worked with the actual St. Germain chair technology in, in a prison. Uh, I think Jalisco, too, correct? Jalisco? Yeah, Jalisco. Yep, same prison that the government wants us to come and create jobs for them to solve a solution for their problem with all the prisoners. And then when I heard this, I couldn't believe it. I said, I wish you would have led with that, Alfredo, brother, because that is my passion. I know that's the core technology we need to really, truly heal everybody. You know, the gene keys are great. Helps unlock things within us. But there are physical tools on this planet now, like the atomic accelerator that he worked with and the vocal chair I'm working with, or the newer chair coming out, um, to heal our lives now, past lives, our parents' connections, our grandparents' connections, all that what we call karma or in your genetics can now be cleaned up um, to be fully what we're here to do. Oh, my God, Alfredo's here. This, I'm just like beaming right now. Sorry, guys. Continue. Please speak. Keep yes, speaking, Maida. Alfredo, because you're speaking Maida poetry. Has, Maida has her hand up. Yes, Maida. Okay, I'm over here freaking out. Like, you guys really have to help me what's going on because I just met Alfredo like four weeks ago because I asked him about a message that I received. Uh, the to, to, I asked him about a 333 number, which I have seen since I was a baby girl. And then there was a message of the 222 on, two, on February 2nd of 2020. And I contacted him and I, like, I wanted to ask him what the heck is going on. I keep on receiving messages. And then coincidentally, I invite him today to cover me because I'm doing this other course, like still here, but I'm not in that course anymore. I'm like over here freaking out, like what is going on? How did you guys meet? Because I just invited him to be a part of this and to literally to just cover me. And here you guys are like, oh my gosh, like really, did we Thank really you. do that in a past Thank life? You. Oh, no question. We've all been together before. Absolutely. Oh my God. No question. And I've not, I've not, I've not had a chance to hug this beautiful man yet, but I will soon. But we have talked long hours, many a times into late nights, trying to envision a beautiful vision with, with uh, Pura Vida, um, an environmental structure company they had a dream of doing. God, that was how long ago now, Alfredo? Yeah, Marcia? thank you. I'm, I'm happy to see you here in this um, chat. And uh, before I go, guys, uh, I must tell you that the synchronization of the solar energy um, through our consciousness, through the five senses, uh, is showing through the numbers. When you see 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, and all these numbers that seem to be the same, uh, the universe is telling you that you are synchronized to the new time or the real time of the universe that all the earth is jumping right now. Uh, so our matrix is changing right now to a, um, 
different reality. We call it the real time of the universe, and that's basically uh, the new life that we are uh, jumping in. I honestly feel like crying right now. I'm so happy. Tears of joy. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alfredo, for taking a moment. Thank Wonderful to hear your voice, and by the way. <laughs> Please reconnect with me on uh, get get your your Ring Central link so you can connect on the main group there so I can add you or just give me your email in here your updated email on the chat and I'll put you in there right now. Well, thank you very much. I thank uh, Maida for inviting me. I really I'm really happy to meet all of you and you Jeff especially. We met uh, the past through the telephone. Uh, we've been uh, uh, talking about the same language basically and all these projects that Jeff is trying to offer to humanity are, believe me, the number one uh, technology to apply to the new uh, humanity. Uh, we don't have to worry about any more um, about money or food or clothing or any of that because the new technology is coming. We'll be able to um, offer to humanity that, all that for free, okay? Uh, so we get focused on what we really need to be focused in this uh, project of humanity and, and, and do what we really think we need to do as humans and as uh, spirits or souls in evolution. So we can jump to the next level. And to end my conversation with you guys is that as soon as we activate the 12 uh, strings of the DNA through the key which is the third uh, string of uh, the DNA, which is the divine light or divine ray, which is a golden light uh, activating the 12 strings of the DNA. Uh, we will become unmortal in, or immortal, whatever you call it, immortal or unmortal. We don't die, in other words. Yeah, immortal, immortal. Im immortal. We're immortal uh, now. Uh, and that's ourselves. exactly the moment, that's exactly the moment when this humanity will become a, um, eternal um, eternal uh, humanity obviously we will have the free will to die or leave this body whenever we want obviously we have free will but um, as soon as we activate all this energy in uh, our dna believe me uh, forget about doctors forget about hospitals uh, sicknesses and all these viruses controlling the humanity that will not happen anymore have you done the gene keys yet, brother, Alfredo? I'm sorry? I'm sorry? The gene keys. I know I sent those to you a while back. I don't know if you ever had a chance to actually go through that and do your gene keys, do your chart. Gene keys, gene keys. Yeah, gene keys. I'll send you the link if you haven't. OK. OK. You'll like it a lot. Well, guys, uh, well, guys thank you very much. Uh, much. I've got to go uh, because yeah. I have visits uh, here in my house. And um, I appreciate your time. Alfredo. Thank you. Muchísimas gracias, Alfredo. Muchas gracias. And Alfredo, po po post your uh, email in the chat if you can, before you leave. Oh, okay, I will, uh, I will Jeff. leave it. Uh, yeah, I will leave it yeah. in the chat. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, take Thank care. Thank you so much. Love you. Thank yeah. you. Hold Wonderful. on. Before, before you guys leave, <laughs> hold on a minute. <laughs> Her mind's still blown. <laughs> Thanks very okay. much, Alfredo. Uh, so, Alfredo knows what I'm gonna, is he gone or he's still here? Okay, no, I'm okay. here, I'm here. So, we have been exchanged, is he gone? No. He's still here. And, and how about we can't hear you? I heard him, he's here, okay. I can see him. It looks like Hola, he's here. Okay, Alfredo knows what I'm talking about. Uh, a few weeks ago, when I sent him a voicemail early in the morning, because I wanted some answers about a dream that I had. And literally, like the dream, Jamin, you were a part of it. Jackie was a part of it. And I literally told Jackie, like, it, it seems like, Jackie, we had an agreement on past lives. And this is how we are coming again together it's it's just amazing like it's just hard for me to believe that that we are all here and 
thousands and thousands of years, we couldn't talk about a lot of this sacred sciences and a lot of this information of how to get connected directly to the source. Because if we talked about it, we would we would get killed. And and now it's it's amazing that that we are all here again together. It's it's just I'm speechless. <laughs> Yes, Mayra, um, uh, uh, before I go, I must tell you all that the reptilian draconian uh, group has a, um, an, an agreement for 5,000 years in order to control the evolution of this humanity. And that control finished in December 21st, 2012. They were announced in 2010 that uh, this project was ending, so they supposed to be finished their contract. Um, they had two options to leave this planet through um, the Galactic Federation uh, spaceships, or they can go in their own ships with their own uh, spaceships. So they went out using their own uh, spaceships, but they came back through a portal uh, interdimensional portal in um, in the Gulf of Aden. I don't know if you know Gulf of uh, Aden, which is very close to the Persic Gulf. Um, that's why the marina was there, uh, trying to fix all the situation. So um, the re-encounter of the souls uh, has been for years and years and years. And uh, I believe all these uh, souls sharing together this um, um, presentation or, 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 or conversation in this moment, we've been together in, in the past someday, uh, in some life. So uh, we are in the reencounter of the souls. And believe me, we are the heads of this new process of evolution for this humanity. So anything we can share here, we can do, we can plan, it will be for the same evolution of this humanity. So thank you for that. Thank you, Alfredo, for inviting the, for inviting you. See, I, I, like, I cannot even talk, I cannot even express myself right now. Thank you for accepting the invitation. And it's like, it's, it's all meant to be. It was meant to be. Thank you, Mayra. It's an honor. Thank you. Okay, take care, all guys. Thank you. God Thank bless you, you all. Post your email in the chat before you go. Oh, yes, I, I will. I will. Thank you. Bye-bye. Let's -bye. get to Alfredo. I got some stuff to talk to you about when you have a chance. Oh, you're too late. Missed him. Oh, there he is. Okay, sure, we will. Thank you. Blessings, brother. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have to catch my breath. I feel like I ran a marathon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Woo! That takes a lot of energy to like stay that high for this long. <laughs> Me turning up the light. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like my wings are tired and it's time to just sit on a branch and take a breather. Wow, that oh. wow. Oh. Oh my God. Do we need like a break to swallow this? Like a five minute break or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great idea. All right. Yeah. yeah. I feel like this is great. <laughs> uh, uh, Jamin, thanks a lot, Lenny. Well, that was a riveting talk. Uh, made so much sense to me, especially when uh, I just said there about seeing the, the triple trees, because uh, I've been going on about that with my family for a while and constantly seeing three trees, three, three ones and three twos everywhere, every time I turn around, it's there everywhere. For the last couple of years, no? so, you know, everything listening here, it was, it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, but I'm going to have to go to sleep for a while. I'll catch you earlier or later on. 
All right, right James. Oh, Thanks so much, brother. When, when you wake up, we'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jamin, what is, is there anything specific on the agenda for the evening? Actually, for the next hour, or maybe even a little more, we're going to be talking about youth. And we, we had a really great conversation um, last week and the last couple of weeks, actually, with youth, with, with Myra's sons. And, um, and at first we were talking about, you know, just like climate change and all that's going on. And, um, and then last week we had a really fascinating conversation with Alessandro, 17 years old, started coming up with solutions, right? So anyway, we'll talk, we'll talk more about that uh, when we resume. But why don't we just take till the bottom of the hour until 6.30 here, 7.30 there, just take seven minutes, take a breather. Okay, so we'll see you at, the, at 30 minutes after. Stick around. Everyone, we'll see you in a few minutes. Take a break and back for more inspiration and just wonderful <laughs> synchronicity. <laughs> Yell and scream and jump for joy. I cannot believe that was Alfredo. I'm still just, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I love you all. Blessings to you. I love, love you. Too. Did you get his email? I hope he oh, sent yeah, it to you. That is info, Dylan. Right. I, I, you're the commander here. In chief at the moment, Prez. Uh, so just collect emails. Whoever doesn't put them in there, I've got Alfredo. Yeah, yeah. Um, who who has Alfredo's email? Because uh, he didn't I, I send it I before do. he I'll left. I put him on Ring Central. Yeah. Oh, you have I'm it. Oh, perfect. Okay, great. Sure. So, are you gonna post it? I can post it here. Um, I don't have it at the moment. I'm outside. When I go back inside, this is going till six o'clock tomorrow. So I'll get to it absolutely here. But I, it will be on Ring Central for sure, and I'll put him there. Well, he'll be there Perfect. so he'll have his direct contact info. And I've already put most so far awesome. already. You're there, Dylan. Uh, Jamin's there. Uh, I think no Awesome. We're all Ring here. Central. Ring this Central. Give me your address is in the chat box here, guys, and I'll post you right away. Okay. How do I do that? Perfect. Then we can start doing private conversations on the side. If you have any direct questions you want to talk about, keep it off of here, whatever. I'm available. And again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You made my day, year, millennia, lifetime, eon. <laughs> Honored. Took a long time to get here, guys and gals. Lifetimes. We're almost over the hump. Oh, we're over it. We're over it. We're about to. We're at the top of the hump as the roller coaster goes. Exactly. <laughs> we're about to let go. Yep. Loose. Oh, I'm vibrating right now just saying that. Wow. Yep. This is happening. Yeah. Buzzing. Well, I will take a break. I'll be here if you need me. I'm on this call constantly, off and on and around. Carry my phone with me when I go driving somewhere. I'm around if you need me. I'm so glad. That's awesome. You're attached to the hip. Love it. You got it. Absolutely. Thank you for what you've done. Blessings <laughs> You're to you. You're very welcome. Anytime. Much love. Blessings. Thank you. I'll be here if you need me. Muting out.
Can you sit down there? Two, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm bored. Yeah, go ahead. Sit down. Should we? Michelle doing the dishes. She doesn't want to do anything. Okay. So what could I do now? Since Michelle doesn't want to do anything with me. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, we're taking a little break right now. Just so you know, people will be reconvening here pretty soon, in like a minute or so. Okay, can I have a question? Sure. Uh, did you have? Did you guys have the Spanish segment already? Yes, we did, and um, because. What is it gonna be later? No, no, we 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 just we just had it. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear perfectly well. Okay, good. Yeah, we just had the Spanish language segment, but what happened was yeah. there were right. several English speakers who didn't speak Spanish. And all of our mm -hmm. Spanish speakers, incluyéndome a mí, todos los que hablábamos español también hablamos inglés. Entonces, <laughs> por el bien de los que hablaban puro inglés, lo tuvimos en inglés, al fin. Um, pero esto... Oh, okay. I can see. Okay. <clears throat> I can see that. You know why? I, I, I ask you because uh, I have two uh, suggestions, two ideas, because you were asking for possible solutions. And I would like to, you know, when you guys uh, come back, I would like to share these ideas, you know, with everybody. Love it, love it. And what, what is your name, sir? My name is Ausberto Cisneros. I'm a member of the Gran Fraternidad Universal, the same organization that the, uh, Guru Lucia belongs to. Yeah. And it's so, Alberto Cisneros, Alberto? Yeah, correct. Uh -huh. Alberto, bienvenido, Alberto. Gracias, thank you. Muy, muy bienvenido. <coughs> bienvenido, Rigo. Bienvenidos a uh, Están en <laughs> All right. Están en How long is it going to take for, before we come back? I, I, any minute now, uh, you know, maybe two, three minutes. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, to me, uh, it's it's great to uh, to be here. It's an honor to be able to participate here. Jamil, I think uh, you're doing an effort that is really worthwhile. Thank and very important for us. For yeah, it, it is the first thing I see. You know, like because uh, uh, we ha we're supposed to have all the governments, you know, involved in finding these solutions and apparently they they do but uh we need to involve uh everyone and uh i think that, that there there are many ideas that we all can work together you know yep i i agree and it sounds like your dog agrees as well yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> All right, talk to you in three minutes. <laughs> very good, very good, Alberto. Welcome. Bienvenido. All right. Está en su casa. Thank you, yeah. Es que lo hicieron en inglés. Porque todos hablaban inglés. Yeah. Oh, sí, puedes participar tú, yo te les traduzco. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, 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 no,
Quiero hablar este minuto. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Sounds great. Uh, escuchar allá, ma. Escuchamos. Pónganse, pónganse en mute. Pónganle en mute para que no los escuchemos. Ok. Ok. ¿Pusiste así la, la tableta? ¿Para arriba? Ok. Ok. 
All right. Uh, Jamin, are we back? Well, it's, um, we oh, may as well be. I'm going to stop recording.